Hello friends, welcome back to my studio, hope you're well. I am super pumped about this week's vlog. I've just finished a great session today. I am keeping it secret, of course, it's normally in the background, you can't see it, because uh, I want you to get a surprise. I'm working on the canvas that you saw me last week with those tapestry squares, taking the next step. And I wanna say hello to Cindy from Sydney and a big thank you. Our conversation really helped me set the intention of what I was going to do next. It's winter, of course, here we're getting some very heavy frosts in our area. We're getting minus three to minus five in the morning. So it's a bit harder to get going in the studio. So I decided to light the candle and draw a card and just sit with a cup of tea to help warm up. And the card was <laughs> super powerful, so on point. The card was Codes of the Seeds. The blueprint is within you, take the next step. So I really embraced that and I took a big, bold next step. I hope you enjoy watching this and I hope you find it inspiring that you go ahead and take that next step with your own work and be bold and be brave. So let's have a look what I got up to.
So here she is, the lighting's not 100% great on it, but you can get a sense. I'm sorry about the angle when I'm filming as well. It's very hard for me to be in the right position in front of the canvas, but also have a good angle from the camera. So I hope you're picking up enough of what I'm doing. There's so much of this I'm loving. These strokes going down were you know, I was just trying to be quite random. I knew I wanted sky and land, but I wanted to be really loose, abstract more, and just try and be very free and not precious at all. And yeah, as you saw those first dark, they were with Prussian blue. Those first dark movements were just like, yeah, let's go. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, and as Cindy, you said, I can always paint over it if it, if it gets, you know, if there's something on there I don't like. So you've also got to have the confidence that you can repeat. You can always take, it's what's great about painting. You can always go back over it. It's not finished until it's finished. <laughs> and even then sometimes it's not finished. So they went down, of course, and then these random marks that I started making, just kind of playing. I really like them so I just kept coming in with those and yeah really really great the other thing that I did differently as I said I've introduced this Prussian blue so some deeper tones it was a little bit too pastely and a little bit too because I do have a lot of the titanium white in there mixed in the paints a little bit chalky so I decided to bring a bit more depth with those deeper colours. And for the green, you know that I'm normally using this green grey, the antique green, and that I mix it up with a few different colours. I have a vlog on how I make this. So it becomes a very pale, pastely green. And the thing that I introduced recently was this Titan Mars. So, oops, so very pastel looking again. So to deepen and get these deeper greens, I pulled out this Australian Sap Green because it's got this G PG7, and that's what this one has, has the green base in this is the G. C7, G PG, this has the PG7, so P for pigment, G for green, and 7, the type of green. So I knew, as you've heard me speak about colour in harmony, I knew these would work because there is already some of this green in this green, that's in this green, and is in this green as well. So, you know, I've got other greens here I've got olive greens and fellow greens and things but I knew this sap green would work with this and I think you can see that it has worked really really well with those other other colors so yeah I'm super happy with this I've kept some of this that I particularly liked I just love how there's the layering here. You can see a little bit of the tapestry still. I thought what I might do when I started off this morning is do this and then come back over and reinstate those squares with this new color. But I'm not sure that it needs it now. I think it's working so nice. It's still got a little bit of a suggestion in there. I don't think I need to do that. I don't think I need to bring it back to that kind of pixelated look. What I am thinking of is maybe toning this down, taking a little bit of this deeper blue, having it a little bit more hidden so it's a little bit like this area here. It's a little bit, perhaps a little bit too strong and dominant. But I like this play of this dark and this light here and this kind of tension that that's setting up so yeah it'll sit here now for a bit until I see if there's anything that's really bugging me and whether I will actually do that but I'm very happy 
at the moment with the vast majority of it. So I could very well nearly be done with this one. So that's it for me this week. I hope you have a lovely week and I'll see you next week. Bye. Thank you.